today, right now, we get our Universal Annual Passes back. And I have this cool hip shirt on. This is the legacy store, which we have not been in, which Peter's asking about mask sizes. It's so my thing because there are movie props everywhere. And I just I just love that. That's the that's what I miss about Hollywood Studios. What are you? Terminator. You can make a wax mold of Jaws. I was going to do a montage, but I audibly gasped at this. Okay, now I'll start the montage. Again? This is a super cool store. And yes. now, th yeah, this is so that one was Legacy Store. This is Universal Studio Store. We're new here, still, always new here. I feel. And Peter yes. got this fancy mask. Because I forgot my masks in the car mm -hmm. at home. So you see this awesomeness? Look at these oh, I people. Love that one. Sorry. Isn't that cute? Yeah, I have that one too. I'm sorry for you. I love that new shirt. I love it. New York Store. Actually, a Swish and Flix store. Ooh, <laughs> I'll link it in the description. <laughs> Jamesy has one. We'll have to come back. You gotta Where? and rep your Pufflepuff pride we can for match. Dad and Katie. Wow. We did something even crazier, and we jumped to Panera. So say I was going to HHM, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh, nice. 30 oh, years, oh, 30 no. fears. I'm just here for the cool fonts and typography. Peter, <laughs> knock it off. Boom. Oh, look. <laughs> he, he is a boy who acts with his stomach. Does that look so yummy? It does. Get a lights, camera, action. <laughs> uh, Eddie's revenge. Uh, little stages. What? Treaks and foons. These are cute little stages. I'm sure they're not going to be called cute during HHN, but... This music is <laughs> so loud. Okay. We got avocado toast with a lot of fanciness on it. Coffee. A price save? Potato salad? Fruit salad. I don't think you've watched Spongebob yet, but this is Gary's snail. All right, we're gonna check out Globus Mundi. It's secretly some of our favorite shops in Diagon Alley. James is just like Sarah and gets bright red when he gets hot. And we're gonna see the times for the puppet show to see if uh, it's something we can squeeze in because we're not sitting here long because I'm gonna try to get a haircut and get rid of this mop. It's hot. And it's hot. I'm scared that if, hold on, I need to, I need to do this. One of the things I'm scared about getting into Harry Potter, rereading them, is that, that I don't want to be like a fake and a phony. Because be okay? two of my best friends are like bleed it, and I want to be like, well, did you guys know this? And they'd be like, you're an idiot. I'll ask the price. But I love like the canon world that you see like in the theme parks, and apparently there's like the bottom one you can do up. There's like side stories. Yeah. To learn more about the world. That's what I like. I feel like I would like that more than the books. I like the mundane part. Yes. Stuff you don't hear about. Yeah. 
What is what's his name? Seamus. Like, mm-hmm. What did Seamus do all those years? Yeah. I want a story from every What character. did he eat for lunch right? on Tuesday? <laughs> These are the things we need to know. That's what I'm talking about. What time is it? What? What time is it? 10.50. When's the next show? 11. Are we watching it? Yes. Which version, which story do you think it's going to be? I think it's going to be The Three Brothers. I think so too, because that's like the only one I ever... Ever I have seen that. Fountain of Fair Fortune. Oh yeah, that one I've too. That, that was a good. that's a good one. But I feel like they'll Celestina. start the day. Celestina wasn't at eleven. But I don't probably eleven thirty? Twelve? Whatever. All the fun is being had, Sarah. <laughs> ah! James! I shouted. <laughs> that was my natural reaction. <laughs> my scream. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why I don't go to Halloween Horror Nights. <laughs> because I want my wand. You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> my fellow thespians seem to have set things up quite nice. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Do what we came here to do. In time, the brothers reach a river too treacherous to pass. Being learned in the magical arts, they simply waved their wands and made a bridge. The death was coming. He pretended to congratulate the three brothers upon that magic, and said that each had earned a prize for having been clever enough to evade him. Naturally, with the elder wand as his weapon, he could not fail to win the dual envelope. That very night, another wizard crept upon the oldest brother as he lay upon his bed, whereupon he stole the wand and with it, the brother's life. And so death took the first brother. Before her untimely death appeared at once before. Yet soon she turned sad and gone, for she did not belong in the mortal world. Through the man with hopeless longing, the second brother took his own life, so as truly to join her. And so death took the second brother, for he said, and searched for many years. It was only when he had attained a great age that the youngest brother shed the grip of evil. Alrighty, me and Katie are gonna ride Gringotts. We are going to escape. We're gonna escape the heat because it is nice and cool in here. And then we get to go like hundreds of feet underground. James is not a Hufflepuff secretly. He's not what? He's not a Hufflepuff. He's secretly a Slytherin. And he thrives. Yeah, Morgan and Burr. There's like a Christmas stage here for Scare Zone. We're by Fast and Furious. Look at this. That giant spider over there. That's definitely some midsummer stuff. So the Scare Zones look a little different than last year. The Scare Zones are situated in a way to be protective of the pandemic going on. So like I think, which like, I think yeah, that looks works like out. out for like yes. people to be hiding. Or on stages and like to keep distance, which I think will help Sarah, convince Sarah to come to one night using the premiere pass because she wants to see stuff like the dance and dance show and other performances, but not to be in the scare zones because of guest interaction. But I, it's, Sarah, it's looking more and more like you could get through the scare zones without anybody messing with you if or you choose. Or we could just be here early and I can hide out. Yes, I mean that too. But you would need to get to Diagon Alley and just hang out there until the dance show. And then we'd have to get out of here. Yeah. I don't know. Usually this entranceway is a really cool scare zone. Here's the 30, all the 30 years. I think this is going to be really, really... Oh, I wonder if this, this is a scare zone for all the icons, I think. <gasps> and they're going to be up there. Oh my gosh. I've never been to an HHN with, like, a host. Yeah, I saw... What's the girl's name? Chance. I saw Chance, yeah. I've never been to an HHN. She was so well, cool. Well, maybe the one during my college program. I'd have to look it up. Ooh, one last stop in the Universal store before we go. Getting a boost to AC, but also seeing what's new. Stuff all new to us. Yeah, James does all about the wands. And I would love that. 
When did you get such crazy hair? You ready to go home? Park day. Yeah, and our previous Epcot vlog got formatted. <laughs> so this is the first time we're at Epcot on the vlog. Yeah, you guys missed out on all the food and wine that we enjoyed. <laughs> but we're gonna do different stuff today. Yeah, and it's so hot. Yes, it is. We were hoping to go to DVC Lounge. Hotter than I think this is the hottest I've ever felt. But we went to Vegas before on our honeymoon. That was way hotter. In August. Yeah. Um, so the plan was to go to the DVC lounge, but it's a little after five, it closes at six. James is kind of falling asleep, and so if he falls asleep, they don't allow strollers up there, but we're gonna see if they'll allow a stroller with a sleeping baby. And if they don't, we're gonna bail on the DVC lounge for today because it's just not worth waking him up um, for him to have a nap. He didn't grab one of these last time. No, we just kind of ran in and started crying. Look at that. The tattoo. Mm. It's home. Wow. I love crisp. it. Crisp. It is crisp. We got Mickey and Minnie in their dapper outfits over yeah. there. Yeah. They're the best. It's back. It's so great to see that going through again. And our baby actually is awake, so. We are going to the DVC lounge for the last like 40 minutes. Get some AC. Get some cold pop. Get some cold pop. I actually brought my own coffee. coffee. Because I don't know if, we don't know yet if they have the coffee back. Right. We don't know if it's coming back. So I brought my own. How are we gonna pay off our DVC contract? We have to sell it now. James has really only been here. You think one other time? One or two times. Why don't I see how Peter's so embarrassing? <laughs> Look at that mask. We are gonna buy a Disney one. Uh, our Disney ones are dirty after the run. Sweaty last night. We didn't wash them. Well, and I meant to bring a Disney one to Universal today, and then I forgot it. So we had to buy one anyway, and now I forgot to grab the Disney one before we came here. And so it's like we could not. We were gonna buy one right when we got in, but there's nothing. <laughs> Guys, our favorite DVC cast member has left. So, Sue. her son has graduated and like she's moved out of state. We're very happy for her. But we only had to see her once after the initial shutdown from the pandemic. And it was an emotional greeting. We were all in tears and Sarah was pregnant with James and all we wanted was Sue to meet James. Mm -hmm. She no longer works for the company. What do we do? I don't even know. Operation Find Sue. I've been given so much assistance from the cast members here. Oh. Absolutely so. <laughs> Sarah said there was not supposed to be any rain, so I had to leave the lounge to cover the stroller. Got a little wet, but it looks like it's going to be a Florida afternoon rain. That's it. <laughs> James, he was only slightly soaked, no? You love the DVC lounge, Jamesy boy? Ah, I see you in there! You got your fan? Ready to go? He says, let's hit the showcase. 
Ooh. Listen up here, everybody. <laughs> I know a part of vlogging is exposing our life to all of your opinions. I also know exposing our parenting to all of you and it exposes us to your opinions. But guess what? We're teaching James and I'll let the rain stop you. Yeah. In a Even though good way. Because we he's... have raincoats <laughs> and, umbrellas. and umbrellas in the car. We were more than prepared. Probably the most prepared because I even had my yellow jacket from Norway. Hey, but he's loving life. He's protected in the bugaboo. We're the ones just getting wet in there. Right. So why yeah. stop his day when he can stay dry in the bugaboo? Right. And we're going to get some snacks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're checking out Apple Orchard unless it's very overwhelmed. Then we'll go to the World Show Place. Wow. This menu. Oh, look at it. Porksicle Classic Tumblr. Okay, we got hey, the apple hey, tart for $4.50. Hey, hey, the hey. frozen apple pie, which we've been told there's apple pie. We've been told there's apple pie filling in there. James cannot get out soon enough. And the apple blossom sky, which is $11.50. This is $4.50. You get to keep this cup. Take a drink right now. <laughs> Delicious. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh my dear. Oh my. So you liked it. You liked it. <gasps> we thought the World Show Place was open, but it's not. We we left shelter for that. It's not too terrible. Yeah, He's happy in there. More happy doing this. Hmm. Ireland. This reminds me so much of our college program, the Ireland booth. That's what Peter is getting. Six seventy-five. You cannot beat food and wine prices for real. Listen, even if it's raining, this is what you do. <laughs> I just imagine that sliding up. <laughs> Look at that. This is Ooh. this is my body in fruit form. <laughs> <laughs> my body in the Eucharistic form is this fisherman's pie. We're hanging out with the ducks. <gasps> that lightning. That's gonna be close. Lots of birds. And a bunny rabbit! Peter is getting us some poutine. Look at this. Just look at it. Look at that poutine. We gotta get our child out of this. Yeah, this is all Sarah. Not all me. Yeah, me and James got the cheesecake. What are you being nosy for? You got cheesecake on your lip? How's the poutine? So good. It's getting fresh. to that like sunny Florida point. We're soaked. <laughs> <laughs> this is a food and wine. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for a world showcase? Look at this fancy sign. <laughs> he's still going. <laughs> he's still, he's a, he's a, he is the new Epcot parade. We came in and checked for the sweaters because Sarah and I were actually going to buy two. But I think they're out of stock. But James has made a friend. Oh. <laughs> okay, the camera is kind of actually doing justice to the, how beautiful this looks. Sarah and I were just talking like, it feels like we're seeing World Showcase Lagoon for like the first time through fresh new eyes. Just because like, yeah. we... Well, light hit it like this like semi cloudy but semi not right before golden hour i feel like my vision is crisper oh right i don't know like it feels really weird way uh, way uh, way uh. Well, like, no i don't know everybody like just look how beautiful this is it's like an instagram filter but in real life yeah. i've this is currently about to, I'm about to say something crazy. Okay. This is like beating how beautiful I've the most beautiful time I've ever seen World Showcase Lagoon during my Run Disney events. Yeah. Like during Run Disney events, certain ones of the year, like you run World Showcase Lagoon before park open, 
with just cast members cheering everybody on during the sunrise and it's like the most blissful amazing thing ever and beautiful but this has got to be it what are you doing what are you chewing on me I'm not food and wine James D. Boy is a really big kid. James D. Boy, uh huh. We got smart. <laughs> and we turned the mask inside out. We realized we could turn the mask inside out so I don't look like a double crossing fool. Excuse me, sir. Are you enjoying the food? Uh uh. You got such a bad cough. That's a fake. He's a fake cough. <laughs> Jamesy had a bottle and he did not fall asleep. So we're gonna go into the land and ride some mine. Well, learn from our mistake. Living with the land is not open. Do so you wanna do rider swap Soren? Sure. Let's go see what the weight is. Soren, the most soothing cue music ever. Looking at some shops before fireworks. This cookbook is all the festivals. Oh wow. It's cool. Love this glass. I love this color palette. The torches are lit. Pre music, pre show music is going. Yeah. We have like a half hour? About 25 minutes. Our son is obsessed with the fire right now. Actually, mm -hmm. had to transfer him to his pajamas or, or sleep sack or a little pack and play. But he's just the best. We'll be fine. Yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.